In this week's Triple Trouble Talks 3D, we'll be talking about the Falco Spirit. So this is the Falco Spirit. Um, my first impressions are the grip is uh, quite comfortable. It's a bit low, but uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, if I would buy a bow like this, I think I would uh, prefer something a little higher, but uh, it's quite comfortable. Um, there is some hand shock though. I really feel after the shot, it, it wants to leave my hand and there's a, um, there's a sensation of like wobbly, wobbly shooting in the, in the handle. It doesn't feel particularly fast um, and uh, a bit wobbly, but uh, it is very smooth when you pull it back. Uh, it's a nice and long bow. Uh, seems to be about 68 inches. Um, it's a it's a comfortable bow to pull back and uh, and to shoot, but uh, there is some wobble and uh, yeah, I don't think it's very fast. So it's more of a, a nice and easy bow to shoot. For this review, the Dutch bow store gave us a nice 40 pound example of this Falco Spirit. The bow we are using in this video is equipped with the high wrist pistol grip. There's loads of other options you can choose, amongst them are a bamboo core, some carbon layers and a high gloss finish, so you can choose your bow in different speeds and looks. Yeah, so besides the hand shock and the fact that it uh, isn't the fastest bow available, I would say it's a very good and comfortable bow to uh, get if you're a beginner or somebody who would uh, start to take uh, the sport more seriously. Like it's a, it's a pretty good bow, uh, it's nice and smooth and uh, for that price I would say it's, uh, it's quite alright. So in summary, we had a good bow in our hands again. It did 161 feet per second with a 10 grain per pound arrow, which is not something you'd normally shoot. It was 603 grams, so uh, not too heavy. We gave the build quality a 7.3 because it's nice, but it didn't really stand out. The grip got a 7.5 because we both liked it, but it was a little on the low side for our preference. The draw feel was great, it was smooth and it felt like a longbow should feel. Hand shock only got a 5 because we feel like there was just that little bit too much of it. And the price is 260 euros with the pistol grip, normally it would be 230 standard. Overall that gives us a 7.2 for a very good bow. Make sure to check out this bow and many more at DutchBowSword.com. We'll put a link in the description. See you next week.